As we look towards the fall and think about what things might look like for our kids, there can be a lot of anxiety over the unknown. Let's talk with our friends from Pine Rest Christian Services to find out how we can manage this. It is time to talk with our friend Eliza from Pine Rest Christian Services about kids and families and all that's going on. Welcome, how are you? Hi, great, how are you? Good. Okay, so this is that time where we we kind of think we're into the groove of something, but now there's more uncertainties about going back to school. Will I see friends? You know, everything's happening again and our kids are feeling it, aren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. I think as soon as we're getting closer and closer to August, right, everyone's wondering what's going to happen with the school system. And I think right now due to COVID, it's just unprecedented times and we need to use this time as a tool to really work on our resilience. Um, and teaching that to our kids about stress management. All right, so how do we know if our kids are anxious? You know, we can ask them and usually they'll roll their eyes and be like, I'm fine. Um, what do we need to be looking for? Absolutely. I think that the main thing is to look for the same way you would in your partner and your friends, right? Kids also mimic what they see adults do and how we manage our stress. So if they're having increased stomach aches, headaches, um, feeling like they don't care about things, if they enjoyed playing outside, now it's like, I just want to be in my room. What does it matter? This is stupid. So really, um, an increase in apathy and a lack of care. In talking with parents, uh, many of them are saying they're noticing that their kids are more clingy than they have been. Um, and they're not as open to just being independent and doing their own thing. Is that fairly common? Absolutely. I think you tend to cling to your attachment figure, right? And if your attachment figure can show you that this is a time that you can be secure in knowing that what happens in this household at least is safe. Going out into the world right now is very dangerous or unknown. We have to wear masks. These are all new things for kids. But if you're modeling to them that at home we focus on the things that we can control, it's our diet, it's our exercise, it's what we're watching on TV, what we're listening to, then they get this role model of having a safe base and a safe haven and then they can go out into the world and do their thing. So give us your best advice for parents when it comes to their own anxiety and their children's anxiety. Absolutely. I think modeling is the best thing that parents can do right now. So this is a time for you to sharpen up that uh, tool belt or kit for your own self-help and skills that you need. So using mind mindfulness tools, going for walks, talking to friends on Zoom or meeting up outside, finding ways to really focus on your mental health as well as your physical health during this time shows children that that's what's important and that's what we can do and take care of. Excellent. Thank you. You already have lowered my anxiety. I appreciate your time. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Thank you.